So a little while back, the channel CGP Grey, which if you don't subscribe to the channel, it's a great channel, put up a video asking which planet is the closest to Earth. And he brought up how that's somewhat of a flawed question. Which planet is closest to Earth? Because the planets are moving and they're not always in a line, was basically you know, the answer. It's, it's like, are we talking which is the closest at the current time, which is the closest at the closest point, you know, when, they, when all the planets are the closest, which is the closest, or which is continuously the closest. The reason I bring that up is flawed questions. It seems like a good question, like a legit question, which planet is closest to Earth? But you can see there's at least three, maybe four different answers depending on exactly what you're talking about. Well, I just watched a video uh, on YouTube, and I hear this sort of thing all the time, where Android is not Linux. And it's not. Android is not Linux. My phone, I was about to pull it out, but I'm recording with it. My phone is an Android device. Android is not Linux. Is my phone running Linux? Yes, 100%. It is Linux. No kind of Linux, sort of Linux. It is Linux. Linux is a kernel. Now, people get into debates over what an operating system is, okay? So I'm not even going to go into that because it's one of those things there isn't a clear answer, and there's lots of words out there that aren't, you know, clear. When we come to things we say, words, in context, we generally know what each other are talking about. And then you try to get technical about it, and, and you realize, uh, another good example, uh, it might have been a CGP Grey video too, or maybe it was a Minute Physics, Minute Earth, I don't know, one of those channels, a while ago, did a video about what is a continent. And I usually use that as an example when I talk about people using words and, uh, and how a lot of words don't have definitions. Uh, if you have a definition that is always true that describes what the continent is, uh, there isn't one. And there's different ways to look at it. Uh, continents aren't divided by water. Europe and Asia aren't divided by water. You know, stuff like that, you know. Um, but I bring this all up because Android is a system. I'm not going to call it an operating system, but it's a system that uses the Linux kernel. It is true Linux, 100% Linux, okay? Now, as a system, Android sets things up in a very peculiar, different way than most Linux systems. And when I say Linux systems, I mean a system that uses Linux. There's a standard way of doing things. And you know what? All these different distributions out there all do it a little different, but for the most part, there's a general rule of how things go. Android is just way out there and does things completely different, but it's still using the Linux kernel. I can take a Linux operating system, a Linux system such as Debian, and I can chur root into it from Linux. What does this mean? Chur rooting isn't emulating. When I am running Debian in a chur root on a system, whether it be Android or another Linux desktop, I am running true Debian. I'm not emulating it. I am using the kernel that's already in RAM, but I'm telling it to look at this file system instead. And you can do that on Android. You can do that with lots of different Linux distributions. Why can you do that? Because you're running a true Linux kernel. There's the kernel, and then there's the file system. And the file system has all your libraries and files and stuff on it, where Android, it, it, uh, the Android file system seriously is like someone's throwing something together and said, I'm going to throw these files here for now. I'll put them where they belong later, and then never went back and did it. And as a programmer, I'm sure I've done stuff like that before. Um, the fact that most of your system files aren't in your root directory, but in a folder called system, and I, it's just, it is a mess, an absolute mess. But the kernel is still Linux, because proof of it is that I can chur root into another file system. Is Debian Linux? No, Debian is not Linux. Debian is a system that uses the Linux kernel, but Debian can use other kernels as well. I, I think there's at least four or five different kernels it can use. I think it can use the herd kernel. I've never done any of this. I think it can use a BSD, one of the versions of BSD kernels at least. Debian is a system and it has a file structure and it's how they do stuff, but the kernel is what is commonly used is, le uh, is Linux. So that when you say Debian Linux, it's the Debian system that uses Linux. When I say Android, Android using the Linux kernel. Now, in the future that might change. There was Fuchsia, is that what it was called? Google has talked about getting rid of the Linux kernel and writing their own thing, which I think would be 
horrible. Because <laughs> one of the things that I find so useful with my Android phone is that 99% of what I need to do on my desktop system, I can do on my phone in pretty much the same manner. It's not running XORG, although you could, although you're not going to have the hardware acceleration. Um, but all the programs I run on my desktop, as long as my hardware can handle it, I can pretty much run on my phone because it's Linux. There's weird, again, the way Android does stuff, accessing some hardware is weird. The security stuff's weird, so you can do a lot of it, but you have to be root, and there's no security when you're doing root on an Android system. It's kind of like Android took Linux and just threw security out the window, but then claimed that it was more secure because they tried to lock it down, and, and that's a whole other topic is that Securing a system and locking down a system are two different things. Securing a system as the user that has the right to do stuff should be able to do whatever you want. And when a system's locked down, then as a user, it's like, oh, it's, I can't do it, or it's very difficult to do it. That's a whole other subject. So, is Android Linux? No. Is the Android system a system that uses the Linux kernel? Yes. Is it true Linux? Yes. Is it 100% Linux? Yes. I mean, uh, every distro has its own kernels. They might uh, package different modules and and drivers in there uh, so that may vary but that might vary from Debian to Fedora and you know and some of the file structure might differ from Debian to Fedora those are just two examples of coming up with because most of shows come to mind are Debian based and they're gonna do it the way Debian does it so so yeah to have a video titled Android is not Linux is a true statement but the question is Android Linux is a flawed question because they're two different things in the video I watched the guy even referred to, um, I think it was PlayStation. I didn't know this. PlayStation, I guess, is based on one of the BSD kernels. And he said saying that Android is Linux is like saying that the PlayStation is BSD. I don't know much about that. If it is using a BSD kernel, then no, PlayStation, the PlayStation system is not BSD, but it's using a BSD kernel. If it is, I don't know what it is. He kind of just referenced that in the video. I never looked into that. Um, but yeah, the... The truth is, it's just a flawed question. And, uh, and we do that a lot without thinking about it. You know, what is a tree? I have a, I have a bush. You can't see. It's just over here behind this tree here. It's, it's a lemon-lime bush. The thing's eight years old. It's only about this big. It gives me lemons and limes. But lemons and limes grow on trees. Is that a tree or a bush? I mean, what's the definition of a tree exactly? I got a lot of palm trees. This is a palm tree right here. A lot of people say palm trees aren't trees. They're actually tall bushes. Okay, I don't know. Does a tree have to have branches? Palm trees don't have branches. That would be my assumption. And there might be some things there are definite definitions to, and other things there aren't. Um, again, there's a lot of YouTube channels I like, and, and this sort of thing comes up all the time. Like, um, oh, I can't remember the name of his channel or the guy's name. Recently did a video on the world's shortest river. Just search that. The British guy with the blonde hair. I watch all his videos. I'm just drawing a blank on his channel's name and his name. He does uh, interesting place videos sometimes. And he did one on what is the shortest river, and then he goes into how different people define rivers differently. It's true. It's just like, uh, you know, also fruits. You know, fruits are technically, scientifically categorized, you know, by the part of the, the, the tree that contains the seeds. So therefore, tomatoes and cucumbers are fruits. But if you go from a culinary as aspect of things... Tomatoes and cucumbers are not fruits because they don't taste like fruits. And when you're cooking, it's about how it tastes, not whether it has the seeds in it or not. Um, so you can argue either way on those. But there's, there's a lot of words where, humanly, we, we, we have context. If I say a Linux operating system or a Linux system or just say Linux in general, people generally think of a full Linux system, but Linux is the kernel. So if we're going to get technical about stuff, Linux is the kernel. My phone is a Linux device running Linux just like on my desktop and if i can do it on my desktop i can pretty much do it on my phone with a few exceptions and that's just because of weird security things uh with android and again xorg is not on my phone but it can be installed but you're going to be missing the hardware uh acceleration anyway i do thank you for watching listening to this little rant and yeah just think about that for a bit let me know what you think down in the comments below have a great day